Hey, this is Disco Doggy. I am doing five wins or busts today where I play with different teams and try to get to five wins with losing as little as possible. So um, I'm going to start it off today with Ugly Eel Strike Force. I just had an epic win with this team against a Fragment of Anger, Spring Rabbit, and, well, Kunlai Runt. I don't know how you can have an epic win against a Kunlai Runt, but it was epic in the sense that I was totally out of it. I was losing. And the lifelike toad stepped in. Procked a frog kiss. Got a couple frog kick kisses off. Uh, let the resilience buff die down. Used the clobber. Then a pump twice. Killed the runt. It was an epic comeback, I should say. Um, it's just really a fun team. The record right now is 6-2. and two. It's not that good a team. Just, you know, sometimes you want to play with uh, fun pets. My fun pet this time is the Spirit Crab, and I tried to make a pseudo-cleansing rain team. I guess it is a cleansing rain. It's got cleansing rain, then a lot of aquatic damage, but I don't know. I don't see it I don't see it doing that well in the long term. Um, you know, may, maybe I'll, I'll keep it up at the ratio of, you know, five wins to two losses, which is what I always shoot for, but even then, I don't know, it's kind of kind of heavy on the RNG. So now what do I want to do? Um, when you're using the Slither Shock Elver, you need to decide when you're going to keep it in and when you're not going to keep it in. Do I want to keep it in against this pet? Uh, probably is my best bet because I'm going to be able to uh, use my speed, so I'm just going to go ahead and ramp up this move ramp up the deep bite and then uh, take okay that's fine take uh, this frost wolf ghost pup out if it stays in but see what you don't want to do with the elver is not commit with it I don't want to use deep bite a couple times ramp it up and then leave uh, well leave swap I mean because what's gonna happen is is that oh, did I not make my move uh, What's going to happen is your ramping up is going to reset, and then you're going to have to start all over. So now look at this. I'm I'm doing some some pretty nice damage here. Did I just skip a turn? Okay, I'm talking, not paying that close attention. What are they doing over there? All right, there you go. Uh, so do I want to use my clobber now? I don't think so. I think I'm going to use pump and then I'll take a, a gamble on clobber. Oh, actually against two 289 pets. That was a pretty big gamble because I may, well, I may lose the coin toss. So, oh, what, what am I thinking? I'm going crazy here. I was thinking that my Slither Shock Elver was 289 speed. Fail me. Um... <laughs> That's hilarious. You know, the problem was I've been playing with the Puddle Terror too much, and I'm thinking that Clobber is a 289 Clobber. And the Tiny Twister. Damn those 289 Clobbers. Silly me. But look how I'm handling this uh, Clockwork Gnome. Wow. The Elver can really uh, really take over a battle. It took out the Frost Wolf Ghost Pup and the Clockwork Gnome almost. So pretty good shape here. What do I got heading for that last matchup? I have the Spirit Crab against the Oily Slimeling, but I'll be fine with that. I was, um, excuse me, not the Spirit Crab, the Lifelike Toad. Uh, oh, repair. I'm talking. I didn't even notice the repair. <laughs> I thought that happens sometimes. You know, you think you have the battle all locked up and then Yeah, do some stupid like talk your way through a repair. I actually don't know what I could have done with it. R repair. I'm always I'm always talking crap about repair, but on a f pet that's faster, it's actually not too bad. Uh, when all my pets are slower than the gnome, the gnome can actually uh, use the repair effectively. So what do I want to do? do I, yeah, I'll take him out, uh, and then. I'll use my shields again next time so those turrets don't get me. You know, I got so far ahead, I um, wasn't paying attention. I'm setting a bad example here. I'm going to go ahead and put my shield up again, protect me from those turrets, and then um, 
you know, I guess I'm going to have to turn around and start uh, paying more attention if I expect to get to five wins quickly. I, being very complacent here, I I didn't even realize that my Slithershock Elver was 325 speed, and I didn't realize that the Gnome put repair down. So if I expect to win these five battles in a timely fashion, I better get my act together. But I'm finishing this off. I don't see there being a problem. Uh... I'm going to be slower with the tongue lash, but it's okay because the spirit crab is going to take this guy out. So there you go. Me not knowing what the hell I'm doing, I still win. Pet battles must be easy. Oh, you know what it is? Did you hear me just now? I'm drinking co I'm only on my second coffee, so uh, there you go. Again, don't expect that record to, to stay like that, all right? Because <laughs> a uh, couple of my wins have been reliant on Frog Kiss proccing at just the perfect time, and it it, it did. Um, so let me get on to my next battle. That's one win. I don't want to play uh, Leviathan Boner or, let's see, where's my other team that I'm doing that? Oh, Party Burn Plague. I think I will save the, the those for writing maybe I'll do a video later but I just don't want to do it right now I've been spending a lot of attention on those teams so let me see let me go oh I didn't get very far with this so I didn't do a like full-on seeking a third but uh, as I mentioned in the write-up for um, Leviathan Boner I wanted to use the uh, MPD I, I don't have a real good MPD team um, and I didn't actually. I didn't want to make a super great MPD team. Uh, I wanted to throw some other pets on that weren't in the top tiers. I threw the marionette on just because I, I like to I like to use bone barrage to break through other decoys, and I like the uh, field effects here. And just having an undead pet with 1546 health is useful. So. It was my first instinct to throw on the Vengeful Porky Pet. And this was going to be the team that I was going to do Journey to 100 with. But um, it's too much like the Warriors. You know, the, the Warriors are the Marionette and the Vengeful Porky Pet. And I just, you know, I wanted to change it up a little bit. I thought the Leviathan Hatchling would be an interesting pet to use. But this was actually my first choice for a third pet. And then um, maybe I'll play Magical Boner after this, too. Maybe I'll make some more Boner teams. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> Gonna stun me and then put the, uh, the backline damage. I can't remember what it's called at this moment. So... I think I'll just go with the marionette. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, that's fine. I've played this player a few times. They usually start with the lovebird hatchling. What is that move that Kovac has? I can't remember right now. Uh, wait, what? Oh, here we go. Pheromones. That's what it is. Pheromones. They usually uh, throw pheromones. They, they usually stun me, then put pheromones down. So this time they're trying something a little different which is okay but except I I'm, I'm just afraid of the lovebird hatchling I'm afraid of the bone serpent I, I don't remember getting beat by this team a lot but it's a pretty scary team to face since I don't know what I'm doing I think I'm just gonna keep up with this. Okay, now I'm going to save my marionette for the MPD when it comes back in, and I think my best bet here Oh, 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 snap! Oh, whew. <laughs> I thought I, lo I, thought I uh, lost a turn there. So here, here's why I'm doing this. I, th I, I wanted to use my, my decoy, and um 
Actually, that's kind of dumb because now they're just going to bring their Bone Serpent in. So that wasn't a good move. I was thinking I was going to use my my decoy to uh, to block, but it's kind of stupid because all the all they're going to do is um, bring in the Bone Serpent and take down my decoy. So that wasn't the greatest move. Okay, well, that's what they should have done. Uh, I can't make my opponents do what I think they should do. Uh, all right. Well, I think that turned out okay with for for me. I'm still scared of these two pets right here. Uh, what's gonna happen now? Yeah, this is not cool. Um. Should I just let this guy, my MPD, go? Let it die? Seems like a waste. I really don't know what to do. Damn it. Um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna ramp this up so when it faces the MPD. Um, <clears throat> it's faster. I probably should have I probably should have bought brought my marionette in to absorb some of this damage. I'm just all over the place. I I am admitting that I'm not playing well right now. I just I honestly just didn't know what to do against this against this team. Uh, maybe if you're watching you're like, oh you should have done this, this and this, X, Y, and Z. Well let me know because I obviously didn't know what to do. But it looks like it's gonna turn out okay anyways. Uh, here's me playing um, not well for the second battle in a row and winning life is unfair like that <clears throat> excuse me more coffee so what why did I say I'm not playing well I just I just I wasn't quite sure what, what I was doing um, Maybe not playing well is not the best description. I could say I was indecisive. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm not even going to mess with my MPD. I'm just going to drop the decoy with a bone barrage and then maraca my way to victory. So yeah, I was pretty indecisive. I just uh, I didn't know what to... well. I shouldn't say I didn't know what to expect because I faced this player before. I just had, hell, I wasn't sure what to do. Let me stop sugar sugarcoating it. I didn't I didn't have a clear plan there, but it turned out okay. All right, there's a second win under my belt. Beastly boner. Um, should I go with magical boner? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. That was a pretty tough 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 battle. I don't know if I have the. Uh, if I have this wormling in there, if I will be able to, to win, how would I handle that last team if I had the wormling in there? Ah, oh, let's try it. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm fear. Hey, that team doesn't match the, the naming scheme. Come on. And by the way, these teams are all named Boner. I'm talking about Bone Barrage. Hey, whatever you're thinking, that's on you. That's not on me. This team's called Magical Boner because of the Bone Barrage. Hmm, maybe I should make more Boner teams here. I'm just going to say it all the time. Boner. All right. Um, what what else could I throw in? So I have a, I have a Beast. I have a Magic Pet. I have an Aquatic. What might be a good fit for these two um, after, I, after I play this battle? By the way, it's midday. Uh, I, I, I have a doctor's appointment later. I'm not just skipping out work to, to do some pet battles, but uh, the, the cue's kind of popping slow. But let's see. Mm, I don't know. Uh, something that something that takes out uh, undead pets. That's one of my that's one of my beefs with these two. Is well, breath is weak against undead, and and this guy doesn't have any critter moves to take out undead so while we're waiting for this long queue to pop let me see what I can do here uh, 
And I could throw in a fox. I use the fox so much. Fox is great. I mean, I just got a little burned out on it. Someone, someone was beating me a few days ago regularly with a fox, and it was just like, wow, this pet is good. Excuse me. Besides, um, besides anti undead, I also just need some some burst. I mean, th this this uh, guy's an H uh, HP, got a little bit of power. 289, but Maraca is a hundred percent move, so it just doesn't hit very hard. Again, why did they do that to the old 95% moves? Why in the world did they change them to 100% without any um, variation? Okay. So, what's funny is when I ran the Terra Claw Hatchling during the pet of the month, MPDs were a nightmare for me but uh, since I've been playing the MPD actually I haven't been playing it very much on my other team Leviathan Boner the team that beat me was the Terra Claw Hatchling team so uh, the reason why is because at during the end game in a one-on-one -on -one, when the Terra Claw Hatchling was trying to trying to heal and, st and survive the MPD was just taking me down with Thunderbolt so that should tell me how to play this I don't want to waste my MPD right now I will um, I will save it for the Terra Claw Hatchling now this isn't this isn't too good for me because if that Emperor Crab comes in I'm not going to be able to do anything with my Bone Barrage I'm not going to be do, able to do anything with Flurry what's going to take the Emperor Crab down that should be my first concern here yeah, teams with multiple concerns. Um, what do I mean by that? Like when I, whenever I fight a emperor crab or a terraclaw hatchling, I'm like, hmm, how am I going to deal with that? And, and here's two of them now, so I really need to think about the end game here. I already said I'd like to save my pandaren drag my MPD for the. For the Terra Claw Hatchling, how am I going to take out that Emperor Crab if he comes in? Am I going to just Maraca him to death? Which would leave the Mana Wormling against the Gat. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Ah! <laughs> I did it again. I'm talking to you. At least I was able to get my move off. <laughs> So what I was thinking was uh, I, I really want the Mana Wormling against the Ghastly Kid. Um, cause, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to play this, man. I, this was the matchup I said I wanted. I, th I think this is okay for me. Um, yeah, saw that coming. You know, if I have to just stay in and Maraca, Maraca, Maraca. Oh, he doesn't have a shield. But still, I'm going to use my Maracas because uh, Bone Barrage and Death and Decay are, are weak against him. So even though the crab doesn't have shields, I'm going to do this. I would have liked for him to stay in, but oh well. Okay. So now I need to think about this. The hatchling is probably going to dodge, so I'm not going to get the big damage from Bone Barrage, so I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, well, I was wrong. Um, but the reason I chose Death and Decay is because it's going to stay down longer in case he dodged. So, here I am. Hmm. That's a problem with running sort of a weak pet here. Ooh, that's good. Is, uh. Well, it's a weak pet. I need you to hit high. Come on, hit high! Oh, yeah. Okay. That went well for me. That took off one. That took down one of my major concerns. What's going to happen? Alright. 
the the the, the problem here is I want to save the MPD till the end game against Terra Claw Hatchling. And until I get to that point, the Mana Wormling isn't isn't going to do very well against the MPD. Hmm, choices. Okay, okay. All right. I would expect a dodge now or a heal. Okay. Am I going to be faster? I'm still not going to be faster. Now, oh, I am. Bad job, supposed math teacher. Uh, sorry, I'm 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 in my head for this one. I'm trying. This is this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Where I got that I got that weak man of wormling, and um, where am I going to use it? So, I think the ghastly kid is going to come in. Oh, I was wrong. Well, that's fine. I'm still faster. Keep your terror claw hatch. Oh, okay. So it's not. So I, I think my end game plan is working like I wanted it to. Uh, I'm gonna have my MPD against the terror claw hatchling. Hopefully, I can sneak in a thunderbolt. Um, I want to sneak in a thunderbolt so that it'll take the terror claw hatchling below its flying racial. That's the plan. And then I can finish it off. I don't know if it's going to work, though. It might. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what this guy does. But the good news is my plan worked. Was it a good plan? We'll find out now. Uh, or here's something else I could do. Since the dodge was used right there, I'm going to finish it off with the mana wor wormling. So I'm going to take whatever I have to take right now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. I think I got this because I'm going to take him below the flying racial now. I'm going to just breath twice and my mana wormling is faster so I'm good. Oh, breath three times. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. But that was a well-deserved victory from Magical Boner. <laughs> oh, now I laughed. Uh, uh, Bone Barrage is funny. That's why I laughed, because Bone Barrage is funny. Okay. Um, I don't know what you were thinking is funny. 3-0. <sighs> oh. That one was tough. I'm, this is going to be a, a long, long video. Do I want... Do, can't, can't I just go to, like, Rick Stuffley now? No, I'm on a roll with with my uh, harder-to-play teams. Let's, let's keep it up. So what is... Uh, What's going on? Let me go back to some of these lesser used teams. This has already taken a long time, so I don't want to, you know, go through a whole team building process right now. Let me. Oh, I was looking. You know what? Let me go ahead and do that. You know what? If you don't like it, you can just skip ahead. So, what was I looking for? I was looking for um, another third for this team. Actually, I'm not going to do that because, you know, I don't want this to be like. MPD day. I've already used it twice. So let, let me go to something else. Let me um, let me use the Ashstone core since it's just right in front of me. So let's build a team around that. Hey, I'm th I'm three and zero. I'm feeling good. Let's do it, man. Um, eh, okay. So I'm gonna go with Crystal Overload, Feedback, and Crystal Prison. Hopefully, I'm faster than two. 89. You know what? I was liking the Leviathan Hatchling, so I'm going to use its Primal Cry. Uh, now, heading in with the Ash, Ash Stone Core and the Leviathan Hatchling makes me worried. So what? Let me see if I can go to a, a first tier, or may, maybe not even a first tier uh, pet, maybe even a second tier. Um, what first tier? I have the Frost Wolf Ghost Pup. Oh no, that's a second tier as well. Um, Bone Serpent, Merkelot. 
That would be funny if I use Merc a lot with this team. Nah, you know what? Let's go coverage here. Let's try to find a good team that covers this. So, what's going to hurt my elemental? Aquatic. There's not a lot of aquatic damage, but I could throw a... I could throw a flyer on here. What's going to counter my aquatics? Flyers. Hmm. You know what? I'm thinking flyer. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, just because it's a pet that I like to use. There's really... There we go. Mechanical Axe Beak. Just for fun. Just for fun. So, um, let's call it, uh, let's call it good day since I'm having a good day in the queue. And this'll, this'll break up my, this'll break up my win streak. Now, if I was, you know, if I was trying a little bit harder, uh, and had more time, because I don't want to just, you know, talk my way for, like, through this for an hour, um, I might have put a little bit more thought in that, but you know what? Hey, mechanical axe speak. So let's just think real quick. Uh, Graves. Graves is going to hurt me, okay? Low health pet in the background. Uh, well, these these two in the back line, excuse me, these two have a, a decent amount of health. So what would I do if, if my opponent started with Graves? What would I do for an MPD? Man, see, that's a problem with just throwing together a random team. MPD is going to hurt me. Graves is going to hurt me. Uh, FOA is going to hurt me. <laughs> what's, what's not going to hurt me? Uh, screw it. My good day is about to turn to a bad day, but you you can see in the in the in the current meta, it's it's just it's just hard to throw a random team together like just for fun because there's so many good pets out there that are just gonna destroy you. So, um, what's up? What's up? What am I gonna have to face? Oh, okay, that is a good team. Uh, not crazy though uh, so let's see what am I gonna do here I'm gonna go ahead and start with the mechanical axe beak so this is this is doable the f okay so here are my concerns um, the Leviathan hatchling is slower than Willy actually if this person is running Willy they probably have um, the, the speed move here dazzling dance uh, oh crap and think about that uh, okay, okay, I'll take that. Wow, that's a big win for me. Um, <laughs> I told you I'm not playing well. I should have saw that coming. Do I have a... Um, I do have a move that's going to take him out on the back line, but we're probably expecting a heal right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my decoy. Oh, God, I could have... Could have taken. Oh, maybe not, because it's going to be a same speed here. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, mumbling to myself, trying to think out loud. Well, not played well by my opponent. Okay, not not played well. Well, actually, not played well by me either, because I should have I should have saw that howl coming. I was thinking that the dazzling dance was going to come, but a howl came instead. So. Um, now, what do I have to worry about from Willy? Let's go ahead and stun Willy. You thought you were the stunner, Willy. Now you're the stun E. Jeez, I, I, this is going to be like the best record I ever have for playing like total noob. The lesson is, the worse you play, the better you'll do. How did I just... Oh yeah, you take a hit when you from from crystal overload. Uh, okay. Do I want to take him out so I can bring him back? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and play it safe. I would hate to. I would hate to lose after after getting off to such a good start there. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this. Three forty-five times two is gonna take him out, and then I'm in good shape. 
gonna be able to stun with the ash stone core just gonna go all out damage now so I think I was mumbling in the beginning uh, I would expect this team to be a dazzling dance team to to benefit Willie and his uh, interrupt but it didn't happen that way I made a big mistake earlier I've been talking about how bad I've been playing and I wasn't very specific in case you didn't see it what I did is I just went for the damage with my haywire rather than um, con anticipate that my opponent might use Hal. I was totally expecting them to use Dazzling Dance. So that's why I say I was playing like a noob. And then they actually played worse than me because they kept their, um, they kept their fox in for all that strong damage. So uh, good day. I don't see myself using that team again <laughs> just I don't know who knows um, yeah Ashstone core I did have I think one good Ash Ashstone core team let's see uh, crush groove that's what it was from um, it was a sandstorm team it had two elementals on it so I didn't really like it uh, why not go for my fifth win with a sandstorm team I'm a total sandstorm noob I don't play sandstorm very much I don't play it very well this team wasn't my best sandstorm team what was my best sandstorm team oh replacing the ash stone core with a stunted dire no not a stunted dire horn a pygmy dire horn what's the other dire horn there's Jeez, that's what happens when I don't play pet battle. When I don't do pet battles every day, I, I can't even remember what things are called anymore. Oh, I can't do that during the queue. Uh, there was a dire horn, a pygmy dire horn, a stunted dire horn, and a oh, a dire horn runt. That's what the regular dire horn was called, not the pygmy or the stunted. So, yeah, the reason I used the dire horn runt on that team was because it had some had some speed to it and um, I liked to get off my shield in the sandstorm uh, actually that that seems pretty good here let, let me go back Nah, I'm already queued for this accuse taking a long time I don't want to waste uh, too much time here average time two minutes so um, yeah that that's my only ash stone core team that I ever used a lot I saw a couple other ones here uh, the core, yeah, that was, I was trying to go easy mode there. I think when the Terra Claw Hatchling came out, I didn't realize how incredible it was going to be, and back then I wasn't a big fan of Alpha Strike, and I mean, now, just because of the, the, you know, the way you can use your speed effectively, I would not go with Claw anymore, I would, I would stick with, uh, Alpha Strike, so I was talking up Claw back then. I, I only went 80% um, on when the Terra Claw Hatchling was Pet of the Month. I think my record was like 72 and 18 and 1. How I can remember that and not remember the name of the uh, Dire Horn Runt, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if that's correct, but I th it was around there. It was around, it was around 80%, and I would expect myself after. Uh, playing well actually not playing it more but having it played against me well more I would expect myself to do like 90% now because Terra Claw Hatchling is I think it's one of the top two pets I mean a lot of people are gonna argue with me on that but I think the MPD and the Terra Claw Hatchling are two of the top pets I'm a mongoose gotta love that name um hmm very doable again what am I watching out for here I'm watching out for the clockwork gnome turrets but not really because I have a sandstorm so I think this team is gonna be okay jeez I should have saw that coming too Wow. I'm just bad these days I'm just bad <laughs> I'm so mean right now Okay, you know, here's something really cool about um, the Ash Stone Core on this team is that, um, let me think about this. Yeah, I want to do this. Uh, 
you won't miss your crystal prison in a sandstorm. Because I hate when you, like, you know, you're playing a, a basilisk and you have, like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, your crystal prison and then there's darkness up and you miss. It can totally throw your game off. But the ash stone core, because it's an elemental, it will not miss in the weather. So that's something nice. Something, you know, I, I do need to be careful here. I have two elementals and that mongoose has, um, you know, some aquatic attacks. So I need to be careful about this. I should be able to win this game. If I don't, it's going to be because I play it badly. So play it poorly. Uh, so let me not take it too lightly. 289, 289. I think this is a good matchup for me right here. God, it hits like a... I don't know what it hits like. Uh, 345 won't take me out. I'm hoping to get another use of my crystal prison. Which I'm not gonna. But that's okay, because I'm gonna finish this guy off right here. There we go. Okay, that was, that was, a pretty, that was pretty bad, buddy. Uh... Okay, well, this is, this is this is just how it goes sometimes, you know. Um, you face you face people who who uh, don't make good decisions. Now is here's an important decision for me: Do I take this Ashstone core out, taking the chance that I'm going to get a, a crystal prison off against the gnome, or do I just let the mongoose surge it. I think I'm just going to let the mongoose surge it. As you can see, I did that right there. Uh, going to bring my sandstorm. I'm not going to make the same mistake I did trying to get a blackout kick in. Well, it would have worked this time. <clears throat> okay, that's going to work really well for me. Yes, yeah, this is a good matchup. Uh, Living Sandling is going to do a good number on the uh, on the Clockwork Gnome. Well, my hat goes off to I'm a Mongoose, because give me some trouble here, man. With Screech. The total opposite moveset than what I would have used. That's, that's the problem. You need to use the moves I would use. Stop confusing me, Mongoose. And there's a miss. That's a chance. You play, you pay. Isn't that what this is not saying? Yes. You play, you pay. I play with Sandstorm. Chance I'm gonna miss because of it. Got it all wrapped up now. Five and zero. Oh, not the most impressive showing by either myself or my Mata, but you know. That's the way it goes sometimes. That's the way it goes in the queue. Who knows? Next next time I queue after I stop this video, maybe I'll face Graves MPD teams five times in a row. Who knows? I actually usually find weekdays harder when I've stayed home in the past. Now this is interesting. Uh, I was talking earlier about repair. Was that mm, was that today? <laughs> Yes, and I was saying it's not good on a slower, when you're slower, but it actually was very effective right there. Shows you how much I know. Uh, take the chance to miss. Sure. So what I like to do after a blackout kick is I like to uh, use my crush. So crush isn't... Um, affected by the sandstorm and then I'll go back to the sandstorm after that so there you have it ashstone core unbeatable okay this is just long and dragging out now I wish I could just I wish I could just get it over don't repair again please don't repair again okay thanks uh, because, you know, if they repair and I miss, you know. Oh, there's the repair. But at least I'll be able to take 
down. Oh, you know what's messed up? Watch this. This is really messed up. Is kick will interrupt the repair. Uh, I don't know if this is designed to work this way. I guess it's an interrupt. You know, you're 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 interrupting the repair. But sorry, you don't get to repair. I know, right? So mean. Um, well, there you have it. I hope I just didn't win on a. Uh, well, I was gonna obviously win anyways, but I hope I didn't do some 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 dastardly deeds there. A, a dastardly deed, I should say. Uh, crush groove. This is well. The oh, ooh, I leveled up. I don't care. <laughs> um, actually, I do care about leveling this pet up because uh, sorry, this this um, tune character, whatever you want to call it, up because uh, now that you can do your uh, pet battles. And um, the what's it called? I don't even I don't even know how to talk about World of Warcraft anymore since I I, I don't play it anymore. The, what's the, the when right when you go to um, the 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 new content the the level ninety content I think you can do pet battles there now. So I'm gonna actually do pet battles there and get my um, my monument once I get to ninety. So. There you go. That's my plan. But anyways, I went 5-0. and oh. uh, Didn't play very well, but no one really played well against me, and I didn't, I didn't face uh, much stiff competition. So I don't know that it's necessarily I'd call it a good day. I think that, I think that third win, um, or maybe it was the, the, the fourth win with the Ashstone Core, uh, the, that team that I called a good day. That was that was a pretty good win. I beat the Terracol Hatchling and the Emperor Crab, uh, which are both difficult. And and the Ghastly Kid. Hey, Ghastly Kid's awesome. So that was definitely a good win. But other than that, um, I don't remember a lot happening. I told you my short-term memory is ruined by pet battles. I seriously don't remember what the the first two battles were like. All I remember is I won. So um, maybe I shouldn't admit that, but I am. Ha ha ha. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, expect another video this weekend. If you're if you're wondering why I haven't been writing as much, I've been going to uh, videos. Well, or if you're wishing I was writing more, check out the tab Journey to 100. I'm updating that almost every day, where I'm taking different teams uh, to 100 wins, and I am uh, just. Uh, documenting all the battles. Sometimes it's just a sentence, sometimes it's a paragraph, but if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and check out the blog pvppetbattles.com. The tab on the home page is Journey to 100. It's something new that I'm doing. I'm enjoying it. I hope you can enjoy it too. So, thanks again for watching. Uh, see you soon.